Amanda Penrod. I am a communications intern here at Madison Liberty. I have Emily Wells here from our policy team. We are going to start doing legislative updates every week on Fridays where we let you know what's going on at the Capitol building so you can stay educated and informed. Emily, can you tell us what is going on at the legislative session right now? So it's been really interesting to see what's going on right now in the session. There's been many appropriation bills that have been dropped. Some of them have been voting um, to spend over a billion dollars. Some of them have been less. And so it's been really interesting to see that billions of dollars um, have been voted for or not voted for yet because they're just moving around to either the House or the Senate right now. So that's been really interesting to see how much money um, our representatives are voting to or to not spend. Another, just going along with that really quickly, um, House Bill 226, that failed in the House today, and that was just another appropriation bill, and that one was for the Office of the State Board of Education. And basically with that one, it failed, but we'll probably see something out coming, or something soon coming out again for that one. Speaking of education, House Bill 133 most likely will not be moving forward, it looks like, and that one just, to inform you is the immunization bill so that uh, schools would be required to tell parents that immunizations are not required. Do you have an update on the Human Rights Abortion Act? I know that it was, it's been a hot topic on social media yeah, and kind of like has. across the state lately. Yeah, that one has not yet been read on the floor and that's the one that um, Representative Heather Scott and Representative John Green um, have put together, but yeah, it looks like it's not going to be moving forward, at least for this year. That's so, unfortunate. Yeah. So another hot topic right now that um, everyone's probably interested in hearing about is Marcy's Law. So that one did not pass this week, and a lot of people were actually really surprised by that. Um, and the other really interesting thing about that is it only needed one more vote to pass. Um, and so if you guys don't know what that one is, it's the law that um, would amend Idaho's constitution dealing with the right of those who have been accused or convicted of a felony um, dealing with the Second Amendment rights that they have been given. So we would like to encourage you with these last few weeks to reach out to your legislator if you don't know who they are. If you go to the Idaho State website, there's something called Who's My Legislator? You just put in your zip code, it finds who represents you in at the Capitol, and from there you can email them directly. Also, if you'd like to continue to receive updates from us whenever important bills come out, we are now starting bill updates. We sent one out this week actually in regard to the opt-in bill. What was that one again? Um, House Bill 120. House Bill 120. And so if you would like to participate in those, um, I'll also include that link as well. And yeah, thank you for watching. We will have one of these every Friday and we hope that you have a great week.